relationship is like a tropical storm. You're in the thicket of it. But if you hang out and stay with it, you can survive. Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, hello, humanity. Good afternoon, good evening, or maybe it's the middle of the night, wherever you are. We are in the Andaman Islands. We're on Havelock Island, as a matter of fact. We are enjoying a second honeymoon of being together for 35 years. 35 years. <laughs> and so today we would love to share with you, because many people have asked us, what is it that's kept you together for 35 years? And it's interesting because being on this island, there's been beautiful sunny days. There's been a couple of tropical storms. There's been trees that have fallen. It's been cloudy. And I think just like a relationship, nature reflects a relationship. So, hey, what would you say some of the things that have kept you going <laughs> for these 35 years? When we did our marriage preparation course, there was a wonderful priest who was teaching us and saying the mistake a lot of couples make when they get into arguments or fights is they usually say, you always do this or you never do that. So we <laughs> took that and went, that's really interesting because he's right, the extremes are never really all that true. So we made fun of it. And when sometimes we get into a, into a fight or something, we turn to each other and smile and go, you never always do this, or you sometimes always do this. <laughs> so we take the middle road, the, the humor middle road, and, and, and we make a game of it. Yes, we make a game of it. I think our entire life has been a game. Sometimes it's been like war. You know, the game yes. of war. Or sometimes it's just been little skirmishes. <laughs> little skirmishes. Yes. Uh, but it's been very, very interesting. Now, the other thing that my uncle actually said to me is never, ever go to bed angry. And I have made that a point for 35 years to never go to bed angry. Even though I'm ready to just smack him one, I try to remember really hard what is one beautiful thing that I love about Hamish. And invariably, of course, when I start thinking that way, a lot comes together. And I think, wow, what would life be without him? And I know that I'd be really, really sad. So for me, never this going to bed angry and always thinking style. about at least minimum one good thing that uh, I love about him. What else about you, him? What else is something that keeps you going in this relationship? I think it's the fact that I find so much beauty and humor and intelligence and and tenacity and and integrity in you that you're thinking most about the other person and how you can help the other person. You're thinking most about what you want to do to service humanity, to make the world a better place, to make us better, to make us happier. So when we extend our lives out to other people and don't try and hide away in a cave, which is what I frequently do, when I do that, it stops my life. But when I get out and I engage with other people, I am much happier, I am much more engaged with life, I am much more engaged with you. And even <sighs> though we do this a lot, it's also sometimes, it's just wonderful just to walk down this beach and not say anything. We're just walking down the beach, enjoying the sea, the sun, the clouds, the rain. Well, thank you. Thank you for saying all those beautiful things about me. But, you know, and, I, and I truly believe that what's important in a relationship is to see that beauty, that grace, that love, that intelligence, that humor, whatever it is in the other person, you must see that. And as we're walking on the beach here, we're seeing so many couples hand in hand, young, old. It doesn't matter. We've stopped and talked to people. Just down the beach, we stopped and talked to two couples, uh, one that had a, a shirt. They both had matching shirts that said, my life is full of color when I'm with you. We thought, yeah, how do we celebrate those beautiful things? Now, the other thing for me has been laughter. 
Yeah. We started our relationship. We've actually always been roommates. We actually started out our relationship as roommates laughing together. We would laugh and laugh and laugh. And we still do. We still do laugh. <laughs> And, and we still find things very funny. We stopped in town the other day. I wanted to get a haircut. So the driver said, oh, just, just go there. So we got out of the cab, and I went, and I sat in this uh, shop, and these fellows stood up, and they said, oh, yes, sit, sit sir, sit, sir. And, and, and I'm I was looking, standing. I was standing the whole time. Yeah, and I'm looking around, and I'm going, where is all the barber equipment? I don't see any shears or anything here in this shop. The taxi driver comes out and says, No, 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 sir. This is an electronic shop. The barber shop is next door. <laughs> <laughs> and so we all had such a great, great laugh. And it's given us such pleasure from the all the times that we spent whenever we've been everywhere around the world, yeah. we laugh. And in fact, this morning, as we were walking down the beach, there was a group of, what, 10, 12 people? Yes. 15 people? Yes. And as we got closer, they were doing laughter. And we thought, should we join them? Should we not? And as it turned out, it was a laughter club. It was a laughter yoga session. And they were doing it in Hindi. And I don't know Hindi, but we just got in there and we just, we joined. And we had an amazing time. <laughs> Absolutely amazing time. Wonderful. With wind and the sea and... It was just terrific. So in a nutshell, in a relationship, what sustains you is to remember that it is circular. There are going to be many, many beautiful times. There's also going to be times of hardship, times of war, times of strife. A little bit of difficulty. A, a little difficult. bit of difficulty. Uh, but if you focus on the difficulty, you will stay in the difficulty. But if you focus on getting out, you get out and you enjoy yourselves again. Yes. And there's someone right in front of us taking a photo. Did you know that we've been now together for 35 years? Thank yeah. <laughs> Why did you want to take our photo? And here we are. We're actually recording a show. We have a podcast that we're doing on Oreva. Why did you want to take our photo? Just, uh, you know, like after so many years, even you have been, been so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we've got it. We're actually uh, taping live here. Okay. okay. Thank <laughs> you so much. But thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you. We're from Pondicherry okay. and from Oroville actually, but it's very close to Pondicherry. Okay. So do come and visit. Yes, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> How long have you been together? Just 11 years. Ah, 11 years. Beautiful, very good, very beautiful. Good, good. <laughs> so along this beach, we found people that have been together for a few months, 25 years, and I think we take the cake. 35. 35. <laughs> so thank you very much for tuning in and laughing with us and take this moment to have a relationship with not only yourself your partner with your family and remember that nature is a reflection of our relationships and on that note shall we laugh our way out ho 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 <laughs> ho 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 <laughs> <laughs>